Tell me what you think are important topics for developers to know about SharePoint 2013. Well, certainly the, the, the big boy on the block is the new SharePoint app model. And, you know, there's a lot of um, uh, confusion around that, sort of. You know, what is it? There's a lot of different variations of it. Um, it doesn't replace the current on-premise. If you're doing on-premise SharePoint, the standard SharePoint solution and feature kind of packaging is not going away. It's still fully supported. It still allows you to do kinds of customizations on SharePoint you can't do with the new app model. So really the way to look at it is the new app model is a new choice. It's an extension of what the traditional SharePoint solution model was for. So, you know, people don't have to get all worried that I have to learn a whole different method and I have to write my apps using the new app model. You don't. Okay. And so I know you're an expert with workflows. Yep. So tell me a little bit how workflows have changed from 2010 to 2013. Some really significant. I mean, Microsoft for a long time has pushed the idea of authored workflows, not necessarily a developer writing code, but more... Um, designed workflows that a non-programmer can develop, um, you know, do some cool things. So um, SharePoint Designer has always been that tool, um, with Visual Studio providing sort of the backup that allows the developer to close what I call the last mile. So progressively with each release of SharePoint, the developer has to be sort of less involved more can be done by the non-programmer. And so SharePoint 2013 has closed the gap on a few really key features. One, they've implemented the ability to loop. So our transition between different parts of your workflow. In 2010, they could only go in one direction. So if you had a more complicated workflow and you got halfway through it and something went wrong, you kind of had to start over from the beginning. In SharePoint 2013 now, you can move around, kind of go in a circle, they call it a state machine. Um, and second, they've made it really easy to call out to web services. So this becomes the main extensibility point now. Instead of developers having to write more complicated workflow extensions, they can just write a web service. And most ASP.NET developers are very, very comfortable today with writing web services. It's very easy to do with SharePoint's Visual Studio tools. So the fact that you can have a workflow author doing his thing, and when he needs some help, a developer puts up a web service, is a great model. So what do you think, I know one of the new pieces of 2013 also, is the social aspect. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on what that brings to SharePoint 2013? Well, you know, right back in SharePoint 2007, even 2003, Microsoft talked about people being first-class citizens in SharePoint. And so what that means is not just about documents, that it's about people and the context of what they're doing that really made SharePoint this rich collaboration platform. And certainly over, over each release, they've made the people part better. 2013 is really the coming of age. 2010, they introduced um, a better social <laughs> stack, if you will, but compared to what, you know, the more open uh, like, you know, Facebook, the LinkedIn, the sort of what was happening out in the Web 2.0 land, it was still kind of trailing behind. Mm -hmm. And I think um, a lot of people looked at it and said, ah, you know, SharePoint just isn't, isn't giving my users the level of the experience that they're already used to. 2013, they closed that gap. Yeah. Right? The out-of-the-box social now is, is, is modern, it's, it's cool, it's got all the same features that you're going to find in all the other leading social platforms. And with the integration with Yammer now coming and the merging of both those feeds, I mean, you've got a really rich, we've got a rich social stack like we've never had before in SharePoint. And do you think that we'll see, I don't know if you know the answer to this, if we'll see SharePoint on other operating systems like iOS and Android, do you think that's in the future? Uh, absolutely. Microsoft's already announced they're okay. going to have a SharePoint app. It's out today on oh, wow. Windows Phone okay. and uh, um, Surface. Um, it'll be out for Android and iOS, I think they said, in the uh, next couple of months. And so mobile's kind of been a hot topic, too. Absolutely. So what do you think? How is that going to change the face of SharePoint? Well, so first there's a better, much more realistic in terms of better social uh, uh, mobile experience. Sure. They, they've had mobile experience in SharePoint since 2007. Quite frankly, it's been terrible. Um, and everybody kind of, you know, didn't want to say that, but it's true. <laughs> yeah. Finally, on 2013, mobile's right. The mobile experience looks good. It's very functional, out of the box. The, the next problem you have traditionally with SharePoint was, you know, it's fine to have a generic mobile experience, but if you're building workflows or something specific, 
a generic mobile experience isn't going to cut it. You need to be able to write custom mobile experiences easily. And that was a little bit hard to do in SharePoint. Um, now they've actually got what they call mobile channels as part of the WSCM stack, where you can actually design your own web experiences and target different devices. So now it's also easy for a designer or something to layer on top some custom custom UIs that, that capability is sort of built into the box. Excellent. So final question. Okay. We're at SBC 2012. As a developer, what do you think are the most important takeaways? Wow. Well, um, we're definitely seeing a, a much stronger movement in terms of client-side programming. We've seen that for a while. Uh, we're seeing this across Microsoft Stack. If you look at the development model for Windows 8 modern UI apps, yep. HTML5 and JavaScript, we're seeing the same thing with SharePoint hosted apps. They have to all be written client-side. So there's a really strong push in the whole, the whole client-side stack. And this includes advances like the recent uh, TypeScript, TypeScript is a preview of what's coming in the next version of Equascript, so you can start programming with tomorrow's technology today by embracing TypeScript. You've got, you know, even more powerful frameworks. We've got jQuery, jQuery UI, uh, Sentia. There's, there's a lot of rich tools now for client-side development. Um, so definitely, um, OData web services are kind of taken over everywhere. So extending the whole service-oriented architecture, the model now for wiring up your client experience with your back-end data sources is, is ubiquitously becoming an open data protocol compliant web service. And Microsoft has made it really easy in Visual Studio 2012, Entity Framework, um, the new light switch um, additions. All of these things are designed exactly around that model easily deploying OData web services and rich client-side applications. That is really great. Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. Thanks.